One. Hello. <laughs> Adita, Hello. good evening. Good evening, good evening teacher. <gasps> Carla, oh my God. Yeah, and Carla is like, oh no. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm doing awesome. What about you? <laughs> I'm fine. That's great. Uh, good surprise with you. <laughs> well, I'm happy to be with you too, guys. Wow, advanced one. Who else is here, Sandra? Yes, it's Patricia. <laughs> I think I was with Patricia Vasquez once. I can't remember. Wilfredo sounds familiar. Walter, too. Hmm. Okay. So how long, how long has it been? How long has it been ever since you started the, the course? And still not talking, hello, one, two, one, two. <laughs> Come on guys, <laughs> say hi. Hi. In Hello, Peter. Hi, Adriana. How long have you been on the course? My opinion. No, no, no. How long? How many months have you been with uh, the course? More, more time. Mucho tiempo. A long time? More. Really? Okay. Mm. When when was it that, that, that we were together, Carla? 18, oh. 18 months, teacher, in, in my case, because I start at uh, basic one. You started basic one a year and yes. a half. A year and a half ago. Yeah. Okay, so that is like June something, 2021, something like that. Okay, that's good. Okay, so do you have the manual, guys? Do you have, do you all have the manual? Yes. Yes. Yes, super. Awesome. We will use it uh, little by little, uh, but tell me, what are your expectations? about this course? Mm -hmm. What are you expecting about this course? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Oh, my God. Roselena Salgado, how are you? Good evening. Hello. Did you say hello? Who said hello? I'm sorry. Hannah Selmy, say hello. Araceli. Hannah Selmy. Hannah Selmy, hello, Hannah Selmy. Nice to meet hello. you too. Nice to meet you too. In my case, teacher, my expectation about this course, I want to more practice for mm. my pronunciation, for my, in, in my case, I. I need to work more in the listening. This is my expectation for this course. Okay. You need to work on your pronunciation. Pronunciation. Yeah. That, that, that's what you have discovered on yourself that you need to work on the most. Yes, okay. Teacher. Not a problem, we'll work on that. What about the rest? 
Hi, good evening. Good evening. It's nice to see very people. You see yes, many yes, people. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, in my case, I hope to learn more practice because I have uh, troubles with the pronunciation. I hope this, this module is it's fun because sometimes I am I feel so tired from work. And many oh, times really? I am I am sleeping in the class. And and please make this make this class fun, please. I'm the boriest, the most bored teacher in the world. Rosa Elena can tell you that. I'm so bored. It's not good. It's not good. That is not good, I know, but that's the way you learn. I'm bored. I'm sorry. Right, Rosalena? What do you think? Uh, yes, you are very bored. <laughs> bored. <laughs> okay. Bored. <laughs> hmm. Teacher, okay. My, hey. my, my expectations in this course, not course, course. <laughs> course. Course, course, not course, course. <laughs> oh my God, my expectations because huh? because we are in a, an advanced level. We need to speak more. We need to practice. We don't we don't need to be shy. We need to to be more expressive. That's the only way that we we are. Um, practicing to, yeah we're going to we're going to practice sorry <laughs> learn we're going to learn yeah yeah by mm -hmm. practicing that's true by, yes yes because um, sometimes uh, we we think that uh, we can't but mm -mm, we can <laughs> hmm. yeah okay not a problem well uh uh, no, I'm not bored. I'm not bored. Uh, who said that? Hello, Gloria. Oh, my God. Hi, teacher. Welcome to day one. Okay. That, I'm so happy to have you. You know what? I didn't even check the list of WhatsApp or the list of attendance, the attendance list. I didn't even check it. But I guessed. I thought, I bet I'm going to see Michelle, I'm going to see Gloria, I'm going to see uh, Adita, you know, and, and her sister. Where, where is your sister? Oh, my God. Where, where? I saw her somewhere. Yeah, there she is, Gloria, right? Gloria is the sister, right? I, I'm trying to remember now. But I, I bet I was going to have you again because it was a long time ago, so... I said, you know what, these guys are gonna be are gonna be on on advance by now. Okay, so let's start. Um, I'll just go ahead and, and present um, this thing, and I'm sorry, I just moved it a little bit. And there's a presentation today is day one, so we have to go through um, the presentation um, so you can get to know me a little bit, a little bit better. It didn't save it, did. okay, so I just deleted it. Hold on just a minute, so I had it somewhere here. It's not there. I'm getting old, guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> Why do you say that? It's true, that's reality. <laughs> Uh, I used to say I'm not getting any younger. When I was younger, I used to go like, I'm not getting any younger, so I better do something to improve myself. And uh, just briefly, briefly, while I go through this little thing, uh, I'll just let you know, for the ones that don't know me, I, I actually learned English by myself just with a dictionary since I was seven. I, I love saying that because it's true. It wasn't easy. It was very frustrating, especially because I had nobody. I had nobody to talk to, you know, it was difficult. Even though my mother left to the United States 
when I was seven, almost seven years old, I, I never practiced with her because she never used to call me, you know, or be on top of things with me. But that's me, you know. So nowadays, I'm actually, oh, hold on. Uh, I need to present this. What, what do you see? Do you see the, the this area, right? This is not working. I need to present screen two. Hold on. Screen two, screen one. I think this is it. Let me let me try. Okay. Are you looking at the presentation now? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Sure. So welcome, uh, let's go with the uh, presentation. Okay, this is advanced one. Uh, my name is Rafael Antonio Rodriguez Linares. And please let me know, do you see the red dot? Oh, here you are, okay. So this is you. So um, that's my name, Rafael Antonio Rodriguez Linares, but in English corporativo, they call me Linares. <laughs> so if they ask you, who's your teacher? Oh, it's Linares, it's teacher Linares, okay? Okay, I don't like it, but that's that's the way they call me. So uh, who am I? Who am I? Uh, well, this is my basic uh, background, studies background. I studied international or foreign affairs, foreign affairs at Universidad Francisco Gavidia. I didn't graduate. I'm, I was missing like a year and a half but I didn't finish. Uh, so in, in basic terms, I have a diploma on um, industrial administration, industrial administration, engineering. And that's me. That's uh, basically the main thing that I am. Other than that, I have some studies uh, with OIT. That's something that I did. I, I I started to teach teachers, you know, to train teachers. And that's what I love doing the most. Um, and this is what I did on during COVID. During, during COVID, I, I got that certification with um, La Organización Internacional del Trabajo. It was an amazing experience. Um, about my job, I've been with Inglés Corporativo for seven years now, almost seven years. I've, I've worked and I still work at call centers. Uh, um, I work in a call center right now from home from 5 a.m. to 12.30 a.m. I mean, from 5 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. And um, so for, by now it's like 14 years in call centers. I used to be a manager at an English academy, a very prestigious and famous English academy here in El Salvador. And and this is what I am. I am a technician actually of industrial companies. So why is this important for you? Can somebody tell me why is it important for you to know that I started administration? Let's start with some. Hello. Anybody here? Yes, teacher. Okay. Why is it important uh, to know that I started administration? Do you think it has to do something with what we are studying? Yes, it does. It does because we are studying English for work. So if I don't know about training needs, which is the main topic of advanced one, during this module, you will learn how to define training needs in your company. Okay, is it necessary to be trained to have capacitaciones at work? Do you think it's needed? Yes, I need. Yes. You need, you need yeah. So this, for example, is a training, right? You need to learn English. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Hey, Wilfredo, welcome. Thank you. Uh, um, you asked you about administration. Mm -hmm. I guess that it is it is a good tool to to get uh, enough knowledge about company. For example, if you have to go to work, um, but you didn't 
didn't have or you don't have enough knowledge about administration, for example, when you have to administrate, for example, resource, human resource or machine or another, another, whatever. Uh, if you if you don't have Acute. any training about that, uh, it is so hard for you because you have to. You are going to work so hard to to get the best results in your company. Yeah, it's going to be more difficult if you don't have. Thank you, uh, thank you, Wilfredo. Thank you. Yeah, if you don't have any background, any idea of what you're doing, man, you're going to be lost. Um, necesito saber si están viendo la pantalla. Con dos pantallitas o una sola pantalla? Two screens. Two screens. Okay. Not a problem. Let's move on then. Let's continue with the presentation. So that's me. Um, there are some requirements uh, for this course. Yo sé que ya lo escucharon mucho, pero voy a hacer mucho hincapié y lo voy a decir en español porque es muy necesario. Ok, eh, Insaforp nos audita específicamente al momento de pasar el listado. So, su nombre completo al conectarse a la plataforma es crítico. Nombre completo. Ok, todos, la mayoría de salvadoreños tenemos dos nombres y dos apellidos, o porfa, ¿verdad? Eh, omitan esa parte que dice en el caso de oyentes. Si hay algún oyente, sabrá que, cómo debe de hacerlo. Una cosa, eh, y lo estoy diciendo en español, perdón, de verdad lo siento, pero creo que aquí todos somos salvadoreños, nadie, nadie nació en Europa o vive en Estados Unidos. Yo tengo muchas hijos europeos, pero no soy europeo. Entonces, tenemos que entender que la cámara debe de estar encendida, porque es importante que no te achiques por tener un solo deschongue atrás. Nadie se va a fijar ni te va a decir nada. Aquí todos estamos para hablar inglés, ¿ok? Nadie se puede reír de alguien más cuando estamos practicando ni por qué. O sea, ya somos adultos. Nadie se va a poner a burlarse de alguien más porque tienen las sábanas rotas atrás. O sea, también dependerá de ti, ¿verdad? Esa parte. Pero si es importante la cámara encendida, hey, somos, estamos virtualmente, pero si yo no veo, y ojo con esto, yo me voy a acercar mucho a la cámara con mi trompa fea, así como me ves. Me voy a acercar mucho a la cámara, manera de que solo veas mi boca en momentos. Porque la articulación, y quienes han estado conmigo antes lo saben, la articulación es la clave en las clases virtuales. Muchos profesores ni le prestan atención a eso. Se enfocan solamente en hablar, 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 hablar. Y a este punto tenemos que entrar en la ley de Pareto definitivamente, como lo decía una compañera. Tú tenés que hablar, yo no tengo que hablar. Yo tengo que llegar al punto de hablar ya no un 20, sino un 5, un 10% nada más durante la clase. Y yo soy el único autorizado a hacer bullying en este grupo. <ríe> en serio, ese es mi trabajo, hacerte bullying de buena manera, de una manera positiva, hacerte ver cuáles son tus áreas de oportunidad. No vas a tener errores, no, no te voy a decir, puchica Carla, no hombre, ya llevamos 20 veces repitiendo la misma palabra y no le, ay, repita Carla, no. Eso jamás lo vas a ver en mí. ¿Ok? Entonces, eso es lo que puedes esperar de mí. Si tú te aplicas, incluso si me escribís y me decís, mira, teacher, yo ya estoy desesperado, desesperada, yo necesito aprender. Yo te puedo dar otras claves. Claro, dentro de los parámetros de Insafor, yo no me puedo salir durante la clase, ¿sí? Eh, y pasarme a otras cosas, otras metodologías que no están dentro de la que está aprobada por Insafor en este curso. Entonces, volviendo al tema, cámara encendida, para hacernos sentir que estamos con otro ser humano, uno, y número dos, para verle la boca al otro como pronuncia, ¿sí? Porque puede ser que Carla y Ana Selmi estén juntas en un grupo, Ana Selmi se equivocó en una palabra y le dijo first a Carla, y viene Carla y le dice first. Mírame, Ana le va a decir first. Y si no le ve la boca a Ana, no va a saber cómo se pronuncia. ¿Tiene sentido? Good. Ok. Muy bien. Eh, entonces, minimizar el sonido ambiente lo más posible. Yo sé que me dirán, en cada curso nos dicen eso, pero sigue pasando. Igual con el nombre, nadie lo agrega completo. Igual con la cámara encendida. Pues el sonido es lo mismo. Estamos en clase y de repente, el pan, ¿verdad? <risa> Y se siente bien feo. Entonces, por amor a los demás, por amor a ti mismo, por amor a tu teacher, por favor, 
hagamos eso. Eh, participación activa, está de más decirlo, ya se los estaba comentando, tienen que hablar, ya no podemos estar callados, señores. Siguiente punto, la asistencia, y lo voy a decir en español de nuevo, ¿ok? 100% de las clases. Pero teacher, a veces veo en el tráfico. Yo, bueno, en mis clases la mayoría de alumnos son muy responsables y se conectan incluso mientras que vienen en el tráfico. Yo sé que es muy difícil, pero hay que hacer el esfuerzo. Si de verdad quieres aprender, ya es el último tirón. Esta es la recta final. Te quedan seis meses prácticamente para terminar este módulo, este curso, perdón. Um, ¿Querés terminar, y perdón, mediocremente? o querés terminar hablando inglés muy bien ¿Sí? entonces depende de ti ¿no? el último jalón, es la última vuelta, tenés que de verdad sacrificarte como no lo has hecho en todo este tiempo, un año y medio imagínate entonces ánimo, ¿eh? ánimo la asistencia no solamente se toma al estar presente sino también al cumplir en la clase completa, el problema con las clases virtuales es que cada minuto cuenta entonces ahí queda registrado ¿eh? Se toma tres veces, ya me pasé muchísimo de la primera ocasión y ya lo voy a hacer. Eh, a las nueve, a las nueve y cincuenta y cinco, perdón, ocho, nueve y nueve y cincuenta y cinco. Ocho PM, nueve y nueve y cincuenta y cinco. Y me van a decir, ah, es que, ah, pues me voy a conectar a las, no sé, ocho y cincuenta y nueve. Y ahí va a estar pasando lista el, el teacher y voy a decir present. Mm, ese es el punto, ¿ok? Tenés que decir present. Estamos en advance uno. <risa> So, in English, please, al menos eso, eh? English, present, ok. Eh, vamos a tener sesiones uno a uno, tienen diez minutos. Eh, yo usualmente, si alguien no está y le tocaba ese día, pues me muevo al siguiente, la siguiente persona en el listado. Eh, de igual manera, si veo que alguien necesita un refuerzo, eh, si yo, yo sé que, eh, créanme, entre más hablen, más se van a ayudar a ustedes. ¿Verdad? Más áreas de oportunidad por ir descubriendo en cada uno, porque al final yo reporto eso, cómo va su avance, a este punto más que todo. Y pues les ayudaré en esos 10 minutos. Eh, ¿Por qué dice permisos no disponibles? Porque está fuera de mi control eh, ayudarles en ese sentido, que me digan, mire, le voy a pagar 20 dólares, te lo voy a aceptar, pero yo no puedo ponerte una ausencia justificada, ¿sí? No está en mí, eso es cosa de administración, ¿verdad? Y de Insaforp. Ok, um, la plataforma, la plataforma ustedes la pueden completar desde ya, día uno. Pueden comenzar con la plataforma y avanzar todo lo que gusten para estarla terminando la unidad uno antes de la primera semana, la dos y la tres antes de la segunda semana, hacer el mid -year term, el, ya conocen la mayoría del examen intermedio. Eh, no le hagan caso a estas fechas, quiero ver. Eh, 8 de septiembre, no, eso está mal. No le hagan caso a las fechas, pero sí, hay una fecha específica, yo se la voy a estar diciendo en su momento. Todo está en la plataforma. Si alguien no tiene acceso a la plataforma, me hacen saber, por favor. Eh, hay fechas límites para eso. El manual, si no han descargado, está en la plataforma también. Bien, y por último, todos con el botón silencio. Solo el que desee participar, activa el micrófono y puede hablar o levantar la mano. Yo creo que a este punto de la mayoría tenemos ya el conocimiento de cómo se ocupa Zoom. Si alguien no lo tiene, hágamelo saber. Yo le ayudo en todo lo que pueda. ¿Verdad? Eh, vamos a ocupar mucho breakout rooms y vamos a estar siempre pendientes de que todos sigamos el mismo ritmo. ¿Ok? Enough Spanish. Bien, tenemos un minuto de lo que a ustedes les gusta, el español. <risa> No, a mí también, no, no crean. A ver, y rápido, el problema con los adultos. ¿Cuál es el problema con los adultos? A ver, ¿quién se acuerda? Por cierto, tengo 28 años. Ya no me luce decir eso. Tengo 40, 40, casado, tres hijos, casi cuatro con el Hosky que tengo. Ay, bueno, creo que a Roselena no nos sabía, no se me acuerdo si les dije que tenía un Hosky. Sí, ya tiene tres años, ya lo tenía, ok. Entonces, un minuto, señores. ¿Alguna pregunta, duda, inquietud, sugerencia? No soy perfecto, por favor, si tienen alguna idea. It's okay for me. Well, what? It's good for you. 
It's good enough. Una cosa más. Eh, durante esta época de pandemia que se, se dio esto de las clases virtuales, se ha mejorado muchísimo, ¿sí? Eh, yo le voy a enviar una presentación que tiene que ver estrictamente con todo lo del manual. Hay ciertos temas fuera del libro, pero ya a partir de mañana va a ser estrictamente apegado al libro por motivos de, de auditoría. Eh, no me puedo salir de, de lo del manual. Sin embargo, vamos a tratar de hacerlo muy dinámico. Eh, um, y la manera más dinámica de hacer esto es tocando los temas específicos que tiene su manual. Bien. Eh, ¿Cuál es el problema con los adultos? Creemos saberlo todo ya. Tenemos la mente cuadrada, tenemos muchos paradigmas. Y si no sabes qué es un paradigma, pues es una idea ya preconcebida que crees que eso es cierto y así es la vida y punto. Y nadie te va a sacar de ahí. Entonces te invito a que salgas de ese cuadro ya. Y que te digas, no es que le estoy regando. Uy, qué feo dije eso. ¿Cuál es la mejor manera de hacer eso? Grabate a este punto. Ya no te voy a decir, hace la dieta y quienes han estado conmigo, si que se puede en la dieta, se acuerda y la han seguido haciendo. Quiero saber, vamos a ver, un año ya, um, Roselena, ¿seguimos haciendo la dieta? <ríe> la risa me lo dice todo. Uh -huh. Sometimes. Sometimes, Carla Vázquez. Sometimes, I try. <ríe> You try to do it. Ok, los gatos ya no, ya hay mucho entretiene los gatitos. A ver, ¿quién más? Ah, lo, Glorita, Ada, ¿qué onda? ¿Han hecho la tarea? Eso, teacher. Oh, ok. Adita, hace que Adita sí. Algunas veces sí, algunas veces no. Hay que retomar eso. ¿Qué es la dieta, chicos? Súper rápido, agarrar un verbo una palabra relacionada a ese verbo, y estoy pensando en español, la pongo en un cuaderno, agarro colores, y lo pinto con colores, ¿okay? lo dibujo con colores, lo escribo con colores, y empiezo, positivo, negativo, pregunta, pregunta abierta, ¿okay? oraciones, positivo, negativo, pregunta, pregunta abierta, cambio verbo, cambio palabra, y hago este ejercicio cinco veces en el día, todos los días, cinco veces, con cualquier tiempo gramatical que ya haya visto, lo que no se está practicando, se arruina. Así de simple. Y créeme, te lo digo yo. Ahorita tengo dos meses de no dar clases prácticamente en, en línea ni presenciales porque estaba haciendo otra cosa por mi cuenta. Igual se murió alguien y estoy, vengo pero devastado por la vida. Pero hasta eso me deja una lección. Entonces, ánimo, no tiren la toalla, los felicito a todos porque son adultos y están acá queriendo aprender algo nuevo y lo vamos a hacer, ¿ok? So, vamos con la única parte que será en español en esta clase y ahora adelante si a alguien se le ocurre alguna pregunta la hace mientras que yo estoy preparando esto Hola, buenas noches este, para, para obtener el acceso a la plataforma ¿Qué paso te voy a seguir? Eh, en teoría es su correo electrónico el que proporcionó a administración y la contraseña corríjame alguien si me equivoco es del 1 al 5 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 ¿Sí? Wow, todavía me acuerdo. Ok. Hay un problema, teacher. ¿Sí? Eh, pero en el chat de, de, de la WhatsApp? clase. Sin embargo, Katherine, me parece que envió por separado. Y en esa sí se puede ingresar fácil. fácil. Ah, para ingresar al chat de WhatsApp. Sí. No, para ingresar a, a, aquí a, 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 a la, la plataforma. Clase. Wow. Sí. Eh, y ya enviaron el link directamente a WhatsApp. Sí, ya. Ok, el link es el mismo durante todo el módulo, no cambia, ok. Muchas gracias. Buenas noches, eh, Yo no estoy en el grupo de WhatsApp. Mm, ok, ok. El link, el link yo lo tengo, link de WhatsApp. Lo voy a enviar aquí ahorita al grupo de Zoom. Si ¿Sí, usted está en computadora, Patricia. Ahí está el link de WhatsApp para que ustedes se una. Ok, gracias. Ok. Ok, vamos rapidín con la asistencia. Ada, Patricia, Linares, Galdames. Present, teacher. Adriana, Stephanie, Martínez, Flores. Present. Ana, Selmi, Chévez. 
Present teacher. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Me se ha conectado. Gabriela Ignacio Lara. Gabriel Ignacio Lara, sorry. Present. Gracias. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores, dislexia, sorry. Present. Gracias. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here, teacher. Julia Patricia Vázquez Santos. Estamos viendo la pantalla de alguien. Present. <ríe> ok. <ríe> Ahí está. Ok, decía Julia Patricia Vázquez Santos, eh, Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. No. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Presentation. Hey, Nelson. <laughs> Welcome. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, Ophelia? teacher. Hey, Ofelia, turn on the camera. <laughs> ya le pongo, teacher, que no me lo puedo configurar. Ya le pongo. Vaya, chico. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Hello, present. Welcome. Pamela, me suena. A ver, Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. No sé quién es. Esa Present. Present. Oh, ok. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Sandra Gladys. Ok. El micrófono, vamos a ver si lo arreglamos. Stephanie Elizabeth Ayala Pérez. Present. Gracias. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Thank you. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you. Bien, ¿por qué es importante eh, tener encendida la cámara Insaforp audita sus rostros? Recuerden que su fotografía está con Insaforp y es la manera en la que ellos auditan. Ven que eh, si Ana, Ana Selmi es la misma foto que ellos tienen. Ah, sí, es la misma señora. Adrián Ofelia, ahí veo un nombre. No, no, ellos no pueden ver el nombre. ¿eh? Hmm. Hay un cuadrito negro, ha de ser Ofelia, pero no, no veo quién es. Y el problema es que hay personas que se inscriben al curso y le dicen al primo, mira, recibí las clases vos, hombre. Ya me inscribió, pero no tengo tiempo a recibir la voz. Mm -mm. Ok, so let's go. First, I need your help. Let's review the... Let's review the topics, the competencies, competencies of your book. This is very important because in the end, our whole goal in this class is to speak, right? So the first thing you can do to speak is read, okay? And let's practice together. So I need one volunteer, just one. Me. <laughs> okay, Stephanie, Elizabeth. So the unit one is continuing professional development. If you may go, Stephanie. Yes. Competencies, describe benefits of promoting professional development in a company. Discuss the negative effects of the lack of an organizational program for continuing professional development. Explain the benefits, different training options, and design a structured request to access a training program. Hey, very good, one applause. <laughs> no, no, good job. In case you didn't know deaf people, si no sabían la gente sorda, aplaude así. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Okay, repeat with me, Stephanie. Development. Development. Okay, stress. Where is the stress? Was with me, you know. Siempre que das una palabra nueva en inglés. Identifica el estrés de la palabra y marcarlo. Yo te recomiendo hacerlo con un pequeño triángulo hacia arriba porque no existe la tilde en el inglés, sino la sílaba estresada. A ver todos. How many syllables are on the word development? Four. 
four syllables. Four, four syllables, right? So where is the stress development? It's here, right? There's the stress. So again, Stephanie, development. Development. Very good, development. Very good. Let's go. Um, effects, 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 okay? Of the lack of an organizational, organizational program for continuing professional development. Again, now one thing, don't rush, don't rush the words, okay? Don't rush the words. Don't run, because if you run, when you read, you're going to eat some words. For example, you were saying, explain the benefits, different training options, mm, off different training options, design a structured, structured. Acuérdenme al final de la clase enviarles un video corto sobre la regla de ED y su pronunciación, okay? Structured 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 that's the second rule of pronunciation so again stephanie structured structured the structured again do it again it's structured okay now one thing rosalina there is no e there's no e before the S, right? So Stephanie, repeat with me. You say, you say student. A student. Stephanie. Come on, Stephanie. Yes. Say, repeat, Stephanie. A Stephanie. Uh -uh. <laughs> Stephanie. Stephanie. Mm -mm. No hay una no. E antes de tu nombre o está mal escrito. Mm. Eh, se escribe con S. It's. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's so it's let's continue. Stop. 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 Student. Student. There you go. Structured. Structure. Perfect. You see? So practice, practice. Okay. We're not used to some Great job. Okay, let's go with someone else. Please select somebody else, Stephanie. Ay, no, ya me a elegir gente. Anaselmi. What? Again, Anna Selmi. Okay, give me just a minute. I need to delete everything here. Hey, do you have any questions about the words? Any questions, new words? No? Okay, excellent. Let's move on then. Uh, let's go with Anaselmi, vocabulary, terms. Okay, vocabulary. Terms related to continuing professional development, PG career path, self-directed learning, top up skill, point of dif differentiation, employee satisfaction, pay off, turnover, cost, etc. Okay, good job. Hmm. Hay dos áreas de oportunidad principales, Ana Selmi. Una, sonidos finales de cada palabra. Toda palabra que digo en inglés en un sonido final. Okay. Ahora, les explicaba, le explicaba en inglés a Stephanie igual, okay. y lo quiero decir en español, perdón, pero quizás aprovechemos esta primera clase para que vean cómo un trabajo yo y no se pierdan durante el tiempo que solo hablemos inglés, ¿ok? Eh, hay que ir atacando esas áreas de oportunidad. Primero, toda palabra en inglés tiene un sonido final. So, term, si digo term, es singular, sería terms related okay yeah, related uh -huh. to continuing related related to continuing, continuing profe 
professional. ¿Ves? El professional. sonido final sería la L. Professional. Professional. Development. Development. Ok, cultura general. I dot G dot. E punto G punto. No, solo esto, esto es cultura general. E, G significa example given. En inglés yeah. es muy raro encontrar algo como eh, for example. Algo que diga estrictamente for example, dos puntos. Eh, por ejemplo, eh. no. En inglés vas a encontrar E punto G o vas a encontrar I punto E. E punto G, example given, ejemplo dado. I punto E, in example. En ejemplo, por ejemplo, ¿ok? Let's continue. Um, número dos. La TH al final de una palabra suena a una Z y al principio también. Es decir, tu lengua siempre va a venir entre los dientes y vas a soplar a veces, a veces no. Aquí sí vas a soplar y decís path. Perdón, path. 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 Ahí está, path. 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 Career path. path. Career path. Muy bien. Career path. Career path. Path. Career path. Ahí está. Muy bien. Vamos con la siguiente palabra. Decía sonidos finales. Skills. 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 Hmm. Lo que le decía Stephanie, no hay una E antes de la S, no estamos acostumbrados en español, no existe una palabra en el español que empiece con S y continúe con una consonante. Ok, uh -huh. skills. Bien, skill. ahora, perdón, y espero que vuelvan a ver este video y esa es la gran ventaja de estar en modo virtual y ver que les voy a estar enviando los links después de cada clase, les envío el link de la clase, ok, para que lo vuelvan a ver en YouTube. Ojo, para que no estén escribiendo todo lo que estoy diciendo. Ok. Ojo. La T. La T. Cuando hay un, dos sonidos vocales y en medio hay una T, la T suena a R. Ok. Entonces, cualquier teacher te diría differentiation. No sé, differentiation. Differentiation, no quiero producir, ok. Y es diferenciation, diferenciation, diferenciation. Esta suena a C, diferenciation. Differentiation. 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 Shen. Differentiation. Shen. Perfect. Muy bien, Anselmi. Shen. Esa, esa T-I-O-N es muy importante que suene a Shen como question, question, intonation, education. Differentiation. Ok. Let's continue. Y decía lo de la T entre los vocales. No es satisfaction. Es satisfaction. 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 No, no, no me creas a mí. Anda a escuchar los Rolling Stones. Ok. <risa> I can get no satisfaction. Right. I can right. get no satisfaction. Ok. Satisfaction. Turn, ojo, ese, esa U suena una E. Turn over. Turn over. Turn over. Repeat. It's your turn. Turn. It's your turn. Turn over. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> y eso es claro escuchar en los grupos de, de los breakout rooms, ¿ok? No digan, te toca a vos, no, te toca a vos, no. It's your no. turn. A ver, alguien que me traduzca la pregunta, ¿a quién le toca? O más bien, más fácil, ¿de quién es el turno? ¿Cómo lo traducís a, a inglés? ¿De quién es el turno? Vamos, vamos. Who is the turn? Mm. Mm -hmm. Who's the turn? Oh, muy bien, Ana Selmi. Más lógico, muy bien. Ya casi. Who dijo who's? Who's turn? Who's turn? Yeah. ¿Qué Who's falta turn? acá? Esta es pura estructura. Sí, mira. Is question. Is it? Muy bien. Whose turn is it? ¿Ves? Whose turn is it? Whose 
turn mm -hmm. is it? Very good. Whose okay. turn is it? Más fácil, who's next? Who's next? Ok, pero aplicando la palabra turn, turn. Whose turn is it? Bien, y por último, sonido final de nuevo, Ana Selmi. Costs. Costs. Cost. Esta palabra Cost. en plural suena un poco Cost. difícil. Costs. Costs. Bien, siguiente. Cost. Sí, excelente, very good. Siguiente persona, espero que no me lea de corrido, por favor, no hay prisa, no tenemos um, mucha prisa en este momento, no es necesario que te, que corras sobre las palabras, ok? So, who is next, Ana Selmi? No more Spanish, let's go with English. Rosa, Rosalena. And in fact, before we, we go with Rosalena, do you have <laughs> questions about the competency? What are we doing? Okay, no? No. No? So let's continue. Promoting professional development. That's very important. It's a keyword. Discuss negative effects of the lack of an organizational program for continuing, lack of a program for continuing professional development. If you are not training your organization, man, that's so sad. Explain the benefits of different training options. We have to talk about training options. Learning English is a training option. Yes, of course. And you, my friend, are going to design, you're going to design um, a training program of your own, okay? You, you're going to find a way to tell your boss, hey, I need this training. I want to learn English. I need this training. I want to learn Excel, okay? And so on, okay? So let's continue. Um, somebody said Rosalina, yeah? Okay. Next competency, training okay. the workforce. Let's go with identify. Okay, identify training needs in my department. Discuss the basic elements to consider when selecting a training option. Describe the essentials of how to measure the effects of a training program for the organization. Explain the importance of investing on a trainer workforce. Design a basic needs assessment ins instrument. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> hey, this was very little, eh? Discuss. Yeah. Discuss. 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 Yeah, it's discuss. not you. It's oh, discuss. Discuss. Okay. Um, hmm, great job. Trained. 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 Uh, trained. 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 Very good. Trained. Assessment. Assess assessment. Yep. New word. Assessment. You, sh you should you should write it down. Yes. Assessment. Assessment. An assessment is a synonym of task. A task. Assessment. Mm -hmm. Now, needs of assessment, um, it's like a list of things that need to be improved in your job or in your company. So, who needs what? Who needs what? Okay, that's basically a design a basic needs assessment instrument. So, it's like a list, uh, a form a form that you as an employee, you can fill it out and tell your boss, you know what? Um, we have Jorge, he's in accounting, but he doesn't know about, I don't know, uh, about INCO terms, okay? Jorge needs to learn about INCO terms because he's in accounting, but we import a lot. And he's lost, he's lost with that. So we, he needs an assessment on that, okay? 
Excellent. Who is next, uh, Rosalina? Or do you have questions, guys, with any new words in this? Mientras analizan la lectura, un punto más para que lo revisen en el video. Cuando tengo el artículo the antes de una vocal, y eso me encantó de Rosalena, que no se le olvidó, y esto creo que lo aprendió de mí, espero yo. Ese artículo the suena a the cuando está antes de una vocal, y suena a the antes de una consonante. Por eso Rosalena decía, the essentials, the effects, the organization, the importance. Ok, great job. Ya tiene una favorita. No, guys, I'm sorry, but that's true. <laughs> Don't say that. Ok, who is next, Rosalina? Oh my God, I'm going to choose a man. Uh, Walter, Mauricio. Ok, Walter. Walter, I love that name. Ok, ya está sin... Está sin, abierto el micrófono, Walter, pero no te podemos escuchar. Oh. So sad, so sad. Sometimes she feels so sad. Cross on and on. Choose somebody <laughs> yeah. else. Yes, sorry. Ok, Wilfredo, sorry. Wilfredo Guardado, ok. No, don't say sorry, say it's your turn. Oh, no, 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 no. You are advanced, so let's go with the first idiom. Tell Wilfredo the ball is in your court. Wilfredo, the ball is in your court. Come on, Rosalina. Oh, let, me, let, let me check, let me, I'm sorry, okay. but I, I, I... <laughs> Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to, okay. Wilfredo, the ball is in your coat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, but, but, uh, but I have to read, teacher? Terms later. Terms, I'm okay, okay. Terms relate to personal training, e.g. Uh, business needs goals, survey, gap skills, analysis, performance, uh -huh. appraisal, the triangle strategy, benchmark analysis, pre and post assessment, return on investment, our OL, etc. Oh, you got it, etc. Good. I was expecting you to say etc. <laughs> Good job. Or, nah. ET, or ETC, you know, some people go like, oh, ETC. <laughs> Good job, etc. Okay. Teacher. Mm, hey. Teacher, and I, I have a question for you. Uh, we can say, uh, for, for example, uh, you told us um, uh, some minutes ago that G point G, it is like, uh, for example, uh, example given. Can we say example mm -hmm. given? Mm -hmm. Can we say when when we are when we are reading, for example, some paragraph? Can we say uh, example given? Ex or, you must. You must. You must do it. You must. You must do it. Oh, yes, okay. when you are reading, you have to say something. You cannot say e.g. You have to say example given or oh. for example. Yeah. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Good question. Perfect question. Good job. Okay. Yeah, I, I didn't I didn't explain that. So yeah. Hey guys, uh boy identificando tres or cuatro personas ya con este um con esta área de oportunidad, ¿eh? los ED endings. Quizás sería la primera área de oportunidad en general que vamos a ir viendo. Okay. Eh, los 
palabras, los verbos regulares que terminan en ed. Hay tres pronunciaciones diferentes. Ya le voy a enviar un video al, al grupo de WhatsApp. So, terms related. 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 Ahí tenés. Ahora, ¿por qué se da esto de nuevo? Hay una T entre dos vocales, Wilfredo. Related. 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 Ahí tenés. Okay. Related. Related. Very good. Ok, si sí, decíamos example given. Analysis. <ríe> Analysis. Y cuidado todos. Pueden eh, caer en esto también de decir analyze. Ok. Analyze. Qué diferente. Ok. Ah, analysis. Analysis. Tal y cual está escrito. Analysis. Ok. Entonces, analyze. Analysis. Ok. Uh, then you said appraisal. Appraisal. Will? Appraisal. Yeah, appraisal. Appraisal. There you go. I'm okay. Okay. Appraisal. The triangle. Oh, and again, the triangle strategy. 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 Mm -hmm. And again, analysis. Okay, uh, pre and post assessment, return of investment, on investment, etc. So in general terms, uh, this is the vocabulary that we're going to study on the second unit regarding training the workforce. You're gonna like, you're really going to like this module because it's all about training um, terms related to what you need as a person. It's very important, okay? And you're going to learn about management. You're going to start learning about management. Okay. Um, terms that are going to help you benchmark analysis. So try me. Okay. Please go ahead and try me. I need you to analyze the writing here and tell me if you have any new word. Can you see any new word that you have never seen before? Appraisal, sure. Appraisal. For me, it's appraisal. Okay. Let's figure it out. Performance appraisal. Okay. This is the perception of your job. Basically, in context, performance appraisal. When they give you a prize, they are giving you an appraisal. For example, they give you a gift card of a hundred dollars and they go like, great job. Good job, Wilfredo. Here you have, you have a hundred dollars. Okay. It's an incentive. That's another synonym for it. I don't know about that. <laughs> My boss never gives me anything, so I don't know. <laughs> okay, another word. Benchmark. Okay, benchmark. Benchmark analysis. That's a synonym for the, the brand, the brand, just a brand. Benchmark analysis is just the the market basically. Mm -hmm. Now, in this context, let's see the analysis of um, where the idea is coming from. Where the idea is coming from. Benchmark analysis. as a point of view, let's say. Teacher. Hey. It is like when, when um, for example, in, in, one, in a company, sometimes they, they have to do benchmarking. When, when you cop, copy or, or, or the, another company do. What, an, what other companies do? Yeah, for example, if if I I I need to promote my my brand, for example, I can I can see another 
another company what they do to promote the their their brand their brand the, uh -huh. yes i i i always think that it is this word it is like a benchmarking and that's bench marketing yes bench marketing that's bench marketing right yes yes i but, but i i was confused with this word yeah i know it's, it's very easy to get yeah. confused with that word bench marketing and bench oh, okay. marketing okay benchmark analysis it's just the analysis of your point of view teacher one hey. question yes um benchmark is a percentage or a parameter a parameter it's a parameter yes it's just a parameter something that you can compare with for example um let's see we're talking about training the workforce so in this context you will learn how to evaluate your co-workers so and this is a good dynamic that you can use as a manager i used to i used to let other teachers evaluate the job of another teacher. So for example, when I knew, and this is very important, when I knew that a teacher was not efficient, he was deficient, he wasn't given enough, I used to take, let's say three teachers that were not good and let them, let them see another teacher doing good. So they used to see him, okay? And analyze what he was doing. So criticize, evaluate the way they see. And then we went with benchmark analysis, okay? I used to tell them, okay, you three change evaluations, exchange the evaluations and tell me, Okay, what the other person saw. Did you see the same things? Did you learn the same things? So you learn from somebody else's point of view. Alguien se perdió con lo que acabo de decir? Hey, necesito que sean honestos y me digan, eh, no, muy rápido está hablando, mire, no le entendí nada de lo que dijo. I don't understand. Excellent. Okay. Decíamos, en el análisis de punto de un punto de referencia, decía que yo solía poner a tres profesores que no me estaban siendo suficientemente efectivos, productivos, y los ponía que evaluaran a un cuarto, que sí estaba haciendo bien las cosas. Ahora, el punto no era que ellos evaluaran al cuarto y que aprendieran de él nada más. No, sino que también compararan Okay. que analizaran el punto de vista de los otros dos. Es decir, estos tres que van mal, ya evaluaron al cuarto. Ahora, cambien sus evaluaciones, les decía ellos tres. Okay. ¿Cuál es la perspectiva que tienen los otros dos teachers que van mal también? ¿Cuál es su perspectiva de cómo está haciendo las cosas? El que les hizo bien las cosas. ¿Qué aprendieron? ¿Ya? ¿Qué desaprendieron? Eso es muy importante, desaprender. Entonces, eso es benchmark analysis es analizar el punto de vista de otras personas, digamos, en este contexto de training, ¿ok? Ok, any other? Eso es muy similar a pre and post assessment. Ok. Una evaluación pre y post, es una evaluación antes de una, del desarrollo de una actividad y después del desarrollo de una actividad. Para ver cómo resultó. Y por último, return of investment on investment. Ok. Es bien interesante. Lo vamos a ver también en el módulo 2. Ok. Voy a continuar con esto en un segundo. Es eh, súper rápido. Tenemos que avanzar en eso. Ok. Uh, return of investment. Eh, de, perdón. Return on investment. Es eh, diferente a return of investment. 
Y eso ya lo, no sé si lo vieron en el módulo 6 o 5 de intermedio. Cuando hay un regreso de las utilidades. Es decir, cuando ya invertiste y ves los frutos del negocio. Ese es el return of investment. Aquí vamos a hablar de return on investment. Bien. Ok. And again, a Patricia Linares Galdames. Present. Adriana Stephanie Martínez Flores. Present. Ana Selmi Chávez. Chévez. Chévez. Present teacher. Thank you. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Onta Edwin. I'm ahí está. Ok, good. <ríe> ya habíamos estado por ahí. Flor de sí. María Carballo Ugarte. No ha venido aún. Ok. Gabriela, perdón, y dale, perdón, abajo está Gabriela. Tengo una dislexia, es mi primer día. Gabriel Ignacio Lara. Gracias. Gracias. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. ¿Quién? Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Julia Patricia Vázquez Santos. Present. Thank you. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Estaba antes. Present, teacher. Ahí está, Carla. Ok. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present, teacher. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. ¿Qué? Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Present. Sandra Gladys <ríe> Roselena Salgado mm -hmm. Serrano. Present. Thank you. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present, teacher. Stephanie Elizabeth Ayala Pérez. Present, teacher. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Walter. Ah, es que es el micrófono, ¿verdad? Sí, se salió. Ok. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present, teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Excellent. Sorry guys, las disculpas si me equivoco en su nombre es el primer día. Siempre suelo hacer eso. Ok. My bad. Ya lo vamos a corregir. ¿Y ven la importancia de no leer rápido? Ok. So, let's move on. It's really late already. So, really quick. Um, Let's go with number two and three. Uh, I mean, three and four. Unit three, we have leading millennials. Okay. Somebody who wants to read this really quick. Me, teacher. Okay, Susana, go. Quickly. Okay. Describe the characteristics of the millennials. Explain stereotypes associated to millennials and how their contribution to organizational conflict. State how the generational characteristics of the millennials are positive of for the organization. Provide tips for managers to lead millennials effectively. Design an infographic displaying the characteristics of millennials at the workplace. Excellent, very good. Just one thing, characteristics. Characteristics, characteristics, there it is, characteristics. Okay. Characteristics, effectively. Effectively. There you go, effectively. effectively. Sounds beautiful, okay. Infographic display, hey, these infographics are really good. I mean, it's something else like, not like PowerPoint or Prezi, you know, it's better. Infographics is a, is a picture that, where you can see a lot of information. They're very heavy. Okay. Somebody else reading the vocabulary for unit three? Okay. No volunteer. I'm going to choose. Okay. Uh, Patricia Vasquez, I choose you. Okay. Uh, terms, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Terms related to millennials at the workplace, e.g., 
self-entitled, self-centered, willfully ignorant, uh, job hopper, job ten tenor, uh -huh. stereo stereotypes, bust, etc. <laughs> Great job. You read very well. Thank you. <laughs> there are some terms here, very funny terms. Self-entitled. Just Google it. Try to try to understand these terms, okay? Because this is grammar. When you have a hyphen, no tienes un, un guión entre dos palabras, significa, o le da otro significado a las palabras. So self-entitled. Is when you think that you are something like me, for example, if I tell you I'm a lawyer <laughs> and I'm not a lawyer, right? Okay, but I love this one, willfully ignorant, willfully ignorant, ignorante voluntariamente, it's like <laughs> deliberadamente ignorante. I just want to be ignorant. It's, it's me, I want to be ignorant. It's okay, that's not okay. <laughs> Okay, what is job hopper? Now I want you to relate, relate this word millennials and then job hopper, job hopper. Okay, millennials, job hopper. Uh-huh, what do you think? I don't know. <laughs> think, think. What is a millennial? Is someone who, uh, the ninis, right? Los ninis in El Salvador. Yes. Okay. Uh, so. so Joe Hopper is is the same. It's similar. What does a millennial do when he or she when they want to work? What do they do when they want to work? I think that a Joe Hopper is someone that change every time they work. And uh, let's see, Ignacio, no, no. no. Ignacio. No, oh, that was the same I was, I was thinking because millennial doesn't uh, like to stay in a job for long term. Oh, really? But think, think, job, hopper. Eso es muy importante que tú aprendas a encontrar la raíz, no solo de una palabra, un verbo, eh, compuesto como lo quieras ver. ¿Dónde está la raíz? A ver. Ya vimos superlativos y comparativos, ¿verdad? Ok. Ok, bueno, aquí se ha duplicado la P para hacerlo en comparativo. Hopper, Hopper. Ahora, junto con Job, ¿qué quiere decir esperanza y trabajo juntos? Así, mira. I need a job. He's waiting for a job, but... <laughs> She doesn't, or he doesn't looking for. He's for not job. looking. He's not looking for a job. He's just like waiting. Oh, I need a job, but he do <sighs> do, he doesn't do anything. <laughs> uh, he doesn't do anything to get it. That's right. Now, guys, this is very important. Job tenure, tenure. Do you have tenure in your job, Edwin Alexander? Do you have tenure in your job? Um. Uh, no, no, teacher. I don't. No. You don't have tenure? Okay. Okay. Tenure is a lot of years, many years in your job. That's tenure. It's a sign of the time in, in, work. Your, in your work. Yes. Yeah. How long, how many years you've been into, you know, working in that company? Um, stereotypes. It's very explicit. Boost. Okay, let's boost the class. Okay, let's boost the class. Let's move to the next um, unit, the last one. I'm gonna read it, read it for you. And this is something that I would be doing uh, from time to time. Okay, um, just gonna be getting closer to the camera for you to see my face from time to time. And I just need to spotlight my face and show you. Hold on. Here, there it is. Okay. So I'm just going to 
put my ugly face here for you to see the video later, okay? And it says, the generation gap at the workplace. The generation gap at the workplace. State characteristics of the X and the Y generations. Compare the assets employees that belong to the X generation and the Y millennial generations bring about to the workplace. Describe the importance of promoting corporate efforts to help bridge the generational gap. Elaborate tips to bridge the generational gap at the workplace. The multi-generational workplace, example given, baby boomers, generation X, generation Y, bridge the gap, liability, again, liability, common ground, compromise, advocacy, etc. Okay. Now what's that that's very important for you to watch the video again and repeat, repeat, repeat until you get it. Okay. Let's go straight. Today uh, we're supposed to talk about co paired conjunctions. Paired conjunctions. What are paired conjunctions? It's just like connectors, you know, not only but also both and and in English is pura logica, okay? La gramática es pura logica. Ya lo viste en español. Okay? Conectores aparejados, okay? They go together per conjunctions. Not goes with only, but goes with also. And it sounds beautiful, but also, but also, okay? Not only I, not only I am in a diet, but also I'm sick. So I have to stop eating pupusas, you know, okay? Not only I got divorced, but also I got married again. <laughs> oh my God, who does that, right? <laughs> okay. Um, both Roselena and Patricia were laughing in the class and Edwin Alexander was laughing too. You see, that's the way you use them, okay? Now, this is in context. We have a listening, we have some videos. The power of a small wins, um, a sample of poor training versus proper training and the Organizational Impact Podcast. We're gonna go part by part, personal and promotions of CBDP. We're gonna learn what is CDP, okay? Then we have an article, yes, positive and negative effects of the development planning for the organization and how prepare are you for your own professional development. Now let's go out of the book for a minute. Uh, before we do that, let's start um, your book on usually starts on page 10. So uh, let's describe the benefits of promoting professional development in a company. Um, I need you to talk about this really quick. Why is it important to describe the benefits? Um, I mean, why is it important to have pro professional development in your company? Why is it important? The company makes the employees have many compromises. Many responsibilities? No, compromise. Commitment. Commitment? Mm -hmm. okay. oh, 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 you mean employees become more committed? Okay, <laughs> exactly. The employees have more. How do you say employees? More committed. More committed. 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 Mm -hmm. I think it's double T. Mm -hmm. Why? 
Uh, I think the, the employees feel better in his in his work. I think for that. Okay, when you pluralize, try to say there, employees become more committed in their job because they like it, right? They they feel it's like the company cares about me. Oh my God, they are sending me to France to learn a new training. <gasps> Oh my God! Do you, what do you think, guys? Is that true? Do you will would you feel more committed if they developed you? It's important, teacher, because the company creates the engage engagement the engagement. Mm -hmm. in the, between the employees in the in the objective or goals of the company and for the employees it's important to have a um, professional career into the mm -hmm. company okay now we're going to work this way the whole module now we are thinking as employees. Let's think as employers. Now you all have a company. Tell me, as an employer, as the owner of your own company, is it important to develop your human it's resources? Important. Yes, it's important because it's a good value for the company. It's a key competitive. Mm -hmm. value when the employees uh, are prepared yeah hmm. okay yes it's important for both the employees and the employer hmm. now, yes, as a, in my opinion in my opinion stephanie okay as an employer as an employer yes it's important because i keep the employee motivated I give uh, them professional growth and I and people perform their work uh, properly. Hmm. Okay. Now, from your human perspective, from your human perspective, being realistic, isn't it, listen, isn't it dangerous for you to learn English? In El Salvador reality, isn't it dangerous to learn English for you? I mean, for your company, isn't it dangerous that you learn English? If no, your salary, because, let me let me give, give you the point of view of this. This is the general Salvadorian company's perspective. Okay, it's like a general culture. If I teach them English and they make $300 a month, or let's say you make $400 a month, and Juanita learns English, oh my God, she's gonna look for another job, making, I don't know, 750 at least. So isn't it dangerous? Yes. <laughs> Okay. Yes, because if I'm learning English, I need a better a better job. I need to earn much money. And if the if in the company doesn't bring me the opportunity to to promote to promote myself to another uh, to another position, position mm -hmm. I I need to. I need to run. <laughs> <laughs> I need to win, okay? Yeah. Gabriel, Gabriel, Ignacio. I think I think that doesn't have any any um, if if the company trying to to do or trying to do uh, better, for example, in this case in English, is because they want to grow in their company, so they expect that you return to them. What are you learning now? So it doesn't have any sense that 
uh, if they thinking that you they can lose you they train in you in order to you leave and go to another company and the other thing is if you have if they uh, look in you that are you full commitment with them they're going to invest in you and in, in you you have the opportunity to grow in the company oh good job hey awesome so they don't care, right? I think it has nothing to do with it. It has nothing, nothing to do with it. it I repeat, I think it has nothing to do with it. Uh, I think it has nothing to do with it. Excellent. This sounds like it, and the first one sounds like it. I think it has nothing to do with it. Okay, mm -hmm. next, in order to, uh, in order for, be careful with this. The difference between two, you have a verb, okay? In order to run 20 miles, you have two, okay? In order for them, this is what you were trying to say, in order for them to, da da da, da okay? They look at you, uh, they notice you, okay? If they notice, you are getting trained now guys uh, being realistic we will talk about cpd later okay um corporate professional development i think that's the name but it's an idea that comes from 20 2012 2013 where a company rotates a company rotates their labor pool. I hope you're learning something tonight. A company rotates their labor pool. You know, their bucket. Why? Because Rafael is 40 years old right now, but there are hundreds of teachers out there. Do we want Rafael to become 45, 50, and then talking to the students like, okay, guys, let's go with this. And suddenly, uh, right? He's too old, right? Let's hire someone else. So let's teach Rafael Inglés so he can get another job. And then we hire Susana, okay? And she's younger, you see? That's rotation, okay? And that's basically a human resource rotation. It's an idea, okay? But not all companies work that way. It's not feasible, and you will learn that later. No es um, feasible, feasible, somebody? <laughs> My God, hold on. They don't earn money basically with, with that, you know? Okay, so let's move it. Do you usually reflect on ways you could do your job better? This is an important question. Do you usually reflect? Do you think about ways you could do your do better? And have you ever suggested management to implement a training program to improve your and your colleagues' performance? Have you gotten a positive response? So we're going to answer this really quick in groups, okay? Really quick, um, let me give you a quick example. Do you usually reflect on ways you could do your job better? You know what? Every day, every class, I always check my video later. What? Just check it for 10 minutes, okay? I just check it for 10 minutes and go like, hmm, mm -mm. okay, okay. I could do this better, okay? Have you ever managed, uh, suggested management to implement a training program to improve your and your colleagues' performance? Yes, I have. I have told my boss many times, you know, uh, we should get trained on how to do the classes more, um, uh, like more interactive, you know, have more dynamics in our class. And have you gotten a positive response? No, because um, the methodology that we must implement is, just 
written in rock. You know, that's the way we have to do things. So that's us. Okay, let's answer this really quick in groups, in small groups. Any questions? Questions? No? Okay, so we are 20. Oh my God, awesome. We are 20. Let's make small groups of four. Por favor, nadie se quede en ese grupo. Todos nos conectamos, encendemos las cámaras, los micrófonos, si es posible, y empezamos a opinar a lo loco sobre esas preguntitas que están en la página 9 de su libro. Es el punto Let's Start, el punto número uno, ¿ok? Let's go. Wendy, Patricia, Molina, Duarte, let's go. Ophelia, Orellana, Arce, let's go. <laughs> Thank you, Nelson. Nelson is all the time ready. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh -huh, the number one. Yes. Do you usually reflect? What what meaning? What meaning reflect? Reflejar? Reflect? Yes. 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 Okay. Do you usually reflect on ways you could do your job better? In this context, reflect is like referring okay. referring to reflectionate it's like a diminutive okay. diminutive mm -hmm. of uh, thinking reflection. right mm -hmm. reflection uh, reflection uh, reflectionate Hmm. Maika, what do you think, Anselmi? Mm, in my case, yes, because the part of my job is related to the the, the current current knowledge mm -hmm. about the specific standards, mm -hmm. and I need to start and continue for for that information and i need to to you say i need to find the different way to to do my job more efficient mm -hmm. with my resources time my team and because is part of my evaluation. I I don't know, teacher, that the the question is related to that context. It is basically how how can you make your job more efficiently? How do you how can you develop? No, how can you um, yeah do your job more efficiently as a team I am, and I am. Your, yourself uh huh Sandra? I am more efficient I am more efficient 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 very good efficient how can you be more efficient and do you need training to be more efficient yeah yes, that's I that's feel, the point I that's feel, the point Yes, I, I think that in my case, yes, I need more I need more trainings to do my job in a... so you stop 
thinking that you can do better and you just uh, continue doing the same that you were doing. That's what I and, think. Ladies, and have you, have you done, for example, rainstorming your job when the company need to, to mejorar? Um, improve? Improve, 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 for example, some process. And, but when the meeting start, for example, when always I, I, I guess that it is um, incorrect. Can you way start to... something? Yes. Uh, for example, um, I'm okay. Okay, we are going to check, take take check. But um, the next week, when you go to the process in the gemba, do do you know what I mean in this word? Gemba. Gemba. I don't know what is gemba. It is Japanese word. <laughs> El lugar donde suceden las cosas. Oh. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. But it is interesting because um, I, I I work as a supervisor since twenty um eighteen years. I start to work as a supervisor. And so in production, packaging production and training center. But then I, I could see some process new and many changes. But when, when I told to my boss, for example, uh, no, 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 it is, it is okay. And they, I, I always hear this, this, this phrase, siempre lo hemos hecho así. It's yeah. nice. It's nice in your company, in your company employed, and your company asks the employees what is the better. I think it's good. In my company, you only see that with groups when you make a meeting, but only your your department or only your bosses okay. in a meeting. It's not no. for all departments. It's no, like in, that. In, in my company, it is, it is one of the things that are more important because the people know many, um, uh, very nice, the process. They, they know how, how they have to do better the, the process. Always they, yeah. they are giving solutions. Yeah, in my case, uh, sometimes we have like meetings with the owner because I work to a uh, children's clothing brand. So sometimes we have time in meetings to, uh, she asked about uh, how we can do as company to improve the employees and improve the process. Because uh, we know that we, we, we work about, uh, we work in seasons. So, Sometimes, uh, depending season, could uh, the work could be more uh, could be more uh, difficult than other times. So it's we I usually reflect about uh, how can do my uh, my works better than the last season. Okay. Okay, I'm sending you some areas of improvement. In the season, been, uh, I don't know if you said the season. Okay, let's go really quick with this. Um, let's see when the company when the company needs third person to improve. When the company needs to improve third person, don't forget is that simple singular, right? It needs to improve. Uh, and repeat, will uh, since. Since, since, since. Uh -huh. ah, okay. Es un, algo muy común que los estudiantes digan since, since, uh, since, since. Y tú querías ocupar el presente perfecto ahí. Usualmente lo haces cuando decir te referís a cuánto tiempo has trabajado en una compañía. I've worked, okay. I've worked in that company for. I worked. Okay. Um, okay. Y, y hay dos opciones. O dices 
since 19, y this is el año, since 2020, for example. I've worked in that company for 22 years. Oh, okay. I worked, I have worked in that company for 18 years. I've worked in that company since, what, it, what would it be? Um, 2004, since 2004, for example. Okay. okay, very good. Review the video, check the video. Okay. Ooh, I could see many processes need change. Estabas hablando en pasado. Yo podía ver que muchos procesos necesitaban cambio. Entonces ahí solo falta poner el need en pasado. I could see many processes that, y eso, eso suena raro. I could see that many processes needed change. Needed. 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 Uh -huh. needed. Pero tú dices, ah. sí, fíjate que lo sabías, pero tenés miedo. I, Entonces, I, aquí en este módulo hay que romper ese miedito y lanzate, equivocate, ¿ok? Porque sí lo sabías. Yo te vi la cara, se como... <laughs> el needed, <vea. laughs> I could see many processes needed change, ¿ok? Porque I'm es okay. cuando estabas en esos procesos, ¿no? Yes. ¿Eres ingeniero? Yes. I'm just ingenier an engineer. Reingeniería de procesos es lo que estás hablando. Todo el tiempo estás pensando en cómo hacer mejor las cosas. Eso es oh, una, una adicción no, realmente. Es una es una adicción. Yes, it is <laughs> occupational hazard. Yeah, but it's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Okay, one more thing. The people know very nice the process. Uh, ese artículo no lo necesito cuando generalizo, eso se lo digo en español porque suele ocurrir en los módulos avanzados que quizá algún profesor no hizo énfasis yo, so, yo hago mucho énfasis desde el básico en esto, el uso del artículo the, solo lo voy a ocupar cuando soy específico, por ejemplo the people that I know okay, know the processes very well okay. Okay. Solo las personas que conozco. Ahora, quiero generalizar. People, people. know the people process know. very well. Very well. Mm -hmm. I'm okay. Good. Cuidado con el uso de nice, very well. Sometimes depends the season, Pamela. Uh, vamos a, a tratar de ocupar en lugar de depend. Um, sometimes it is up to the seasons. Sometimes it is up to the season. It's up to the season. Or simplemente, it's up to the season. You know, sound more natural. Eh, it's up to the season. We work. You were saying, uh, we work based on seasons, you know. We work based on seasons. So it's up to the season. That's all. Okay, let me go with another group. Continue, please. Okay. I'll be right back. We pass the next, the next <laughs> point. And programs, not only English, uh, they have programs about administration, uh, Excel, or different, different programs. Yes, in my company work, uh, with different programs, the training with uh, in support. Mm -hmm. uh, I I participate uh, or I mm -hmm. I participate um, in my different uh, training. Mm -hmm. This 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 mm -hmm. this model. This no this this model. In my case, in in the in the case is in the fact this class, the Instagram is mm -hmm. individual. They ah? no is for no 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 is for the company. Yes, yeah, but um no, no, uh, the other co-worker uh, is individual. Um, uh, always the company, but no offering, 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 offering. 
and other and all the other other options uh -huh. oh, okay okay vámonos con eso they work this form para decir de esta manera we say they work that way puedo ocupar diferentes pronombres demostrativos como that or this that or this ok they work that way uh, they work this way una manera más natural sería empezar con el pronombre demostrativo y ocupar el verbo to be that is or that's the way they work that's the way they work that's the way they do it y sigo diciendo lo mismo es la manera en la que ellos lo hacen es la manera en la que ellos trabajan ok they work this form ok uh, no is for the company y decía Adita también the company no offers ok primera frase no is the company en vuelvo a la y esto es tan sencillo como el verbo to be it is not the company ¿cómo corrijo esto? vuelvo a la dieta y empiezo a ocupar el verbo to be sujeto it verbo to be is una negativa a not so it is not complemento the company it's not the company en chivo se vea It's not the company. Lo mismo lo que Rodita decía, the company no offers other options. Pero vamos a llegar ahí. The other co-workers, cuando hablo de singular, y esta es otra cosa que encuentro en avanzado, no se ha corregido a este punto. El uso de other o others, um, o another, other o another. Una tarea ahí que es ajadita y todos. Other, another. Digo, other para plurales ok aquí se lo voy a poner other para plurals y another para singular no es fácil como eso ok other plurals another singular so diría other co-workers y el uso del artículo the the other co-workers y sí, the other co-workers un grupo específico, el otro grupo. Okay. Pero no, es, no entraría en este caso porque Adita, no, nosotros no conocemos los trabajadores, los compañeros de Adita, ¿verdad? Entonces no entenderíamos. Entonces sería other, para generalizar, y ojo con eso, other coworkers. Uy. Other coworkers o other people, estoy generalizando, ya no, ya no cumplo el artículo de. Bien. Eh, Ahora, en, el, en la última frase, Adita, y todos. Eh, the company no offers other options. Eso es presente simple. ¿Cuál es el auxiliar del presente simple? Para terceras personas, ¿se acuerdan? Das. <ríe> Vamos. The company doesn't offer other options the company does not offer or doesn't offer other options ¿Cómo corrijo eso? Hago la tarea ocupando positivo, negativo y pregunta, entonces un ejemplo rápido sería um, prácticamente es lo mismo, the company ahí sí, muevo el verbo con es el final y digo, the company offers other options. Ok. Pregunta. Does the company offer other options? La estructura es bien similar. Ahí está. Positivo, negativo, pregunta. Claro, en mi cuaderno hubiese puesto primero el verbo offer. Ok. Eh, la palabra relacionada al verbo podría haber sido other options, otras opciones. ¿Cómo se dice otras opciones? Other options. 
y empiezo positivo y negativo pregunta. The company doesn't, the company offers other options, the company doesn't offer other options, does the company offer other options? Pregunta abierta, why does the company offer other options? ¿Sí? sí. Bien, acuérdense, lo que okay. no estoy practicando se me va a olvidar a la hora de usarlo, se me olvidó. <laughs> ok, guys, let's go back. Gracias, thank you. Welcome. Thank you, Adita, nos quedamos 10 minutitos. ¿Ya? Yeah? Yes. Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see who else is missing. Tengo el grupo de Carla, Ofelia, Stephanie y Wendy que aún no regresan. Entonces, o oh no, quiero ver. Sí, sí solo ellas no han regresado. Solo 15, ajá. Y Adriana, Stephanie que aún está por ahí, que no quiere regresar. Entonces, una dinámica que yo cubo para seleccionar a las personas es el último en regresar al cuarto principal. En que me va a dar las respuestas a las preguntas. So, ojo, eh. <ríe> Tan malo, dicen. No, así me divierto yo. <ríe> so, let's see. Ok. Ta, 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 ta. Roselena, give me a number between one and four. Two. Two, one, two. <ríe> Ofelia Orellana Arce. <laughs> okay, Ophelia, do you need a training? Yes, teacher. About what? Uh, at English, properly. At English, okay. So you need a training in English. Perfect. Have you told your boss? that you need to learn English? Yes, teacher. And okay. And that's why you're here. Uh, she's got it, she's got it. So you are here learning English. Is... Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yay, Ophelia, yes, good job. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Great job. Okay. Let me see who else was with Ophelia. Okay, Ophelia, another classmate from your group. You have Carla, Stephanie, or Wendy? Uh, Carla. <laughs> of course. Okay. <laughs> Carla, have you have you had that experience before where you needed a training and you talked to your boss and you know what they I need a training? Yes, teacher. Well, in my case, it's a little different because in my company we have a platform with a academic course and Courses. I have have a option that shows the what training I want to take, uh, but to I have a mandatory uh, course during the years that I have take uh, uh, mandatory, uh, but we have a, a program during these years that all training uh, that I have a take. For example, uh, three, three weeks ago, I take um, a training for um, compliance training that is very interesting. It's a, a internal training that a uh, uh, compliance rule internal 
is my last training. Okay. Good job. Hmm. Hmm. Se me fue una, ¿eh? <risa> Donde me mencionó el artículo A antes de una palabra como K, la cosa es que se equivocó. Ojo con los artículos. Ah, a sí. y an, a y an. Bien, eh, rapidito, chicos, solo nos quedan tres minutos más o menos. Tengo que pasar la lista todavía. Me quedo con A de esta noche. Carla. Uh, hmm. I want take. I want, I need, I love, I have, I hate. Si lo que digo, voy a decir a continuación es otro verbo, tiene que haber un to en medio, una preposición. Uh -huh. I have to work. I have to take. Uh -huh. I want to take. Okay? Don't forget uh -huh. that. I love pupusas. I love to eat pupusas. Don't forget it. Eso es algo básico. Uh, but to, ese, esa conjunción, el to no va mm, junto. Eh, tiene que ir al final el to. ¿Qué, a ver, ¿qué me ayuda? ¿Qué conjunción, qué conector se puede ocupar en el en del to en esa oración? But to, I have mandatory courses. Ojo, Carlita. Course, courses. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué, Rosa? Curse, curse, curse. I curse yeah. you. No, <laughs> no, right? No. Of course, of course. Si, si digo curse es maldición. Si digo course es curso. Okay, curso de cursar un curso. Okay, good. Good job. Eh, so, usa con la pronunciación. Y si, sí, otra forma era, but also I have mandatory mm. courses. I have a mandatory course. Three weeks ago, I took a compliance training. No, I take. I took a compliance training. Compliance. Compliance training. Compliance rules internal. El orden de las palabras en inglés es diferente. Los adjetivos van antes del nombre. So I took a compliance, intern a compliance training about um, internal rules. Internal rules, las reglas son internas. Ok, good. Espero que hayan visto un poco de lo que vamos a estar haciendo. Algo que faltó durante este um, trabajo en equipos es aplicar la gramática de las pequeñas uh, pair conjunctions que vimos. Solo son tres nada más las que estábamos estudiando. Entonces, una pequeña tarea sería que ustedes revisen nada más eso, los pair conjunctions que mencionamos. Y mañana me traigan unos ejemplos nada más. Y empezamos la clase ocupando esas oraciones con las per conjunctions. Tan simple como eso. Ojo, ustedes hacen la clase. Yo no voy a empezar la clase diciendo, Hi, Susana. Hello, Susana. No, ustedes tienen que empezar a hablar. Aunque yo esté ahí. Quiero ver a la gente ahí. Chambriano, in English. In English, please. Ok. So I'm going to stay with Ada tonight. Y mañana les digo cuáles son las áreas de oportunidad principales que he detectado hasta ahorita, que es lo mismo de siempre. Siempre los personajes de avanzado tienen áreas de oportunidad muy similares siempre. O sea, de que no se preocupen, las vamos a atacar como siempre, ¿ok? Good, good night, everybody, except Ada, Patricia, Linares, Galdamés. Yes, teacher. Thank you, Adriana, Stephanie, Martínez, Flores. Present. Thank you. Ana Selmi Chévez. Yeah. I can see you. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present teacher. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Gabriel Ignacio Lara. Present. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Julia Patricia Vázquez Santos. Present. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Nelson Elgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present teacher. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Present teacher. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Present. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. 
Present Stephanie Elizabeth Ayala Perez. Present. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. He was there. There he is. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Excellent. Okay, guys. Good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, buddy. See you. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you. Good night, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs>
claro que sí. Eh, lo que pasa es que no me hace caso, tichera, ya no me hace caso. Mi. Quítele Entonces, algo que le gusta. ¿Qué hacía cuando estaba pequeña que no le hacía caso a Gloria? ¿Vale? ¿Qué hacía cuando estaban pequeñas y Gloria no le hacía caso? A pelear mucho. <risa> y todavía sigue igual. Linda, no. no, no, o sea, como les digo, entre ella y yo siempre hemos tenido esa relación, este, así, ¿verdad? <risa> este, sí, sí, este, lo que pasa es que les digo, somos, son dos, son horarios muy diferentes, entonces, somos, este, uh -huh. cuando ya estamos juntas, hoy por hoy, nos toca estar así enfrente y cada uno en nuestros propios grupos. Pues ¿verdad? agarren, ¿qué? Unos 10 minutos ahorita. Quédense unos 10 minutos hablando. Inténtenlo. Vuelvan a lo básico. Ada. Empiecen con lo básico, Gloria. Así, despacito. Preséntense una con la otra. ¿Saben qué vamos a hacer en este módulo? <ríe> Entrevistas de trabajo. Ah, ok. okay. Empiecen. Una, una es la entrevistadora y la otra es la que conteste. Ahí cambian roles. Eso todos los días, todos los días, después de la clase, vení, a ver si pasas la entrevista ahora. Desde... <risa> Ojo, de preguntas más fáciles, desde de, what's your name, how old are you, who, who do you live with, y luego, luego el background, where have you worked, dónde has trabajado, ok, what's, what are your skills, de esto habla el, el módulo este, what are your skills, cuáles son tus uh, habilidades, sí, habilidades. habilidades. Y ahí va, mejor, va empeorando la cosa, ¿no? How much do you, would you like to make? Están ocupando condicionales. Creo que vieron los condicionales, ¿verdad? Entonces la cosa es ir, ir metiendo a ver qué nivel llega de preguntas difíciles, porque una entrevista de trabajo es eso. Pregunta yuca a medida que uno va pasando. Así, e incluso en la embajada, hace poco eh, tuve una persona que iba a la embajada, tengo un chero que trabaja ahí y me dijo, no, mira, aquí las preguntas que hacen va por niveles. Primero pasas el filtro fácil, me, desde el portero habla inglés, me dice. Y hasta él te dice hello y vos sabes que vas por una entrevista y dice hello y vos le decís hola. Mm. Entonces, así y así va pasando, me dice. Entonces hasta que llegas con el mero, mero jefe y ahí tenés que hablar con, como que si hubieras nacido gringo. ¿verdad? Entonces ánimo. Ánimo, apóyense una a la otra. ¿Verdad? Las felicito. Puchica, que no me, no me imaginé eh, ver a muchos el día de hoy, así de verdad. A quien extraño es a Michelle. Con Michelle hablábamos bastante. No sé qué se habrá hecho. No, tuvimos problemas. Tuvimos sí. problemas, Tisha. Ah, ¿por qué? ¿Qué pasó? Por los profesores. Por los profesores. En ese momento estamos hablando con otra compañera y felices de que usted haya regresado. Mm. <risa> eh, en, el, en, el, en la sala estuvo otro, otro compañero y le decía al otro compañero que quizás solamente dos maestros son excelentes y el primero es usted. Ay, no, no, ya en eso ¿En todos. Serio, en serio. Cada profesor tiene su carisma, eso, eso es así. Sí. Lo que pasa es que bueno, mire, ha sido también la constancia, ¿verdad? De cada uno de nosotros. Porque eso también tiene bastante que ver, pero ahí, va, ahí hemos ido. Bastante ahí hemos ido. Pero, y todo. Pero caímos en un bache. Caímos en un bache y eso es lo que Y ahí se fue, se fue ¿No? Michelle. Ahí se fue Michelle. Ay, no. Yo creo que tengo el número todavía. Le voy a escribir para Mayra. que regrese. Y Mayra. Sí, Mayra también. Las dos. Ay, si nosotros señor. ya casi nos íbamos. Sí, de verdad que ya nosotros este módulo ya no. <ríe> O sea, ya no. Ánimo, Pero, ánimo. Pues, va. Vamos no, a ver. No, de veras, muchas gracias. Y, yo no y pensaba, yo... no pensaba regresar. Saben, eh, a ver cómo sigue el año, porque Dios me, me quiere dar la oportunidad de ir a Qatar, eh, tal vez a fin de año, no sé. A trabajar de intérprete, pero uno o dos meses, no sé. Ahí Dios, de, Dios lleva las cosas en mi vida, como no tienen una idea. Ha sido increíble como me ha cambiado la vida prácticamente, pues, o sea, más agarrado a Dios, o sea, no es que me haya ganado la lotería ni nada, sino que lo, todo lo contrario, mucho mejor, ya, ahí estamos con mi esposa y puchica, bien, bendecidos, así gracias, de verdad, gracias, gracias, gracias a Dios. Mire, yo, no, yo no había visto esto de um, licenciatura en relaciones internacionales, no la terminé, no la terminé, no, 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 eso, eso siempre ha sido así, pero no la terminé, me faltó un año, 
un año ah, para ánimo, terminarla. Ánimo. Ahora ya, ahorita me absorbieron los dos pensos, <risa> No, pero eh, de verdad le digo, es, es una gran alegría tenerlo, porque yo sé que, que yo sí voy a aprender un poco más en este, en este módulo, ¿verdad? Y le digo, ha sido para mí una sorpresa muy, muy grata. Gracias, Ada, gracias. Y con el compromiso de seguir adelante aprendiendo. Escríbanme, escríbanme si necesitan, no sé, vislumbrar algo que se les haya olvidado, qué pueden hacer, y pensemos juntos cómo, cómo adecuar su horario. Yo creo eso que eso, volvamos a empezar con eso. Vean su horario, aprovechemos este mes, ¿sí? que Dios uh -huh. nos regale otro mes, tal vez, ¿verdad? Sí, me y podamos eh, mejorar áreas o, o sea, mejorar lo que se nos ha ido quedando, pues, ¿verdad? Para tomar ventaja de esto, ¿ok? Muchas gracias, de verdad, por su, sus muestras de cariño. Yo también les aprecio mucho y pues vamos a hacer todo lo que se pueda, ¿ok? Cuando vi su nombre, me dio una gran sonrisa y le dije, ¡ay, no! Gracias, de verdad. Así es. Nos alegramos un montón de verlo. Esto era la orden, de verdad. Primero, ya sigamos todo bien, ¿ok? Pasen feliz noche. Buenas noches, Buenas noches,